So we explained to you the profit. Now I'm just going to quickly explain to you the dynamics of growth here. And so in our two years of operations in our CIT compounding construction, we've generated 63.84 million. Now, if we divide that by two, because 50% is split with Habibi coin for token buybacks and reinvestment, and 50% is split with the contracting company. And so it works out to 31.92 million each. Now, the company has its 31.92 million. What do we do with the 31.92 of Habibi coins? And we're gonna explain the model really quickly for you guys. The first uh, 31.92 goes to Habibi coin, second goes to the company. Now if we take 31.92, again, split it in half, we divide it by two, works out to 15.96 million. So 15.96 million will be used for a token buyback. You can whitelist yourself on our whitelist program to sell us your tokens. And as short-term investors, we would be more than happy to buy these tokens off of you, uh, maybe even at a slightly higher market price. This creates some liquidity for our community and token holders. And it also um, gives us an opportunity to uh, collectively work with the token holders who are gonna work with us for the long term and stay in our community for long term and continue to compound the growth. Um, and for the short-term token holders, you get a great return, uh, more than happy, <laughs> I would be more than happy and I'm sure you will be too. And so this 15.96 that we do for a token buyback, we buy the tokens from our community holders. We don't hold the tokens after that, we burn them. And so when you burn them, again, like I was mentioning, there's less supply, still the same or growing demand, and the value of the supply that's remaining goes up. And so if we're buying 15.96 million worth of tokens, and the supply goes up, I mean the value goes up, you can see how your tokens start to be growing into a higher value, and depending on how many tokens you're holding, how much that actually appreciates for you in your total appreciation on your investment. Now, the other 15.96 million is used in expansion to expand to one more city. Here in the UAE, there's seven emirates that make up the United Arab Emirates. When we discussed our 63.84 million, we were just discussing Dubai, but now we have the system and process down pat. We have all the relationships. We have pretty much everything. And so what we would do is we would use this 15.96 million and we would expand to one more emirate. And I'm gonna give you the figures on why that's so lucrative. Every two years, we plan on expanding to another emirate. So in a four year period, in our year three, we would be in another emirate, we would invest that 15.96, this would give us 240 laborers, 144 projects over two years, our cost would be 14.88 million, which we have this 15.96 in order to cover the cost, and then whatever's remaining into equipment, into vehicles, into more infrastructure setup. It brings us a profit of 28.32 million. Now, this is year three and four for Emirate number two, which is the one we just expanded to. Then there's Emirate number one, which is our original Emirate of Dubai. And year three and four there would bring us 63.84 million if things stayed the same. If we did not expand further in Dubai, if we did not expand further the construction business here, take on more projects, sign more partnerships, obviously at that point, having completed 384 projects, we have an amazing track record. We have a great brand built. There's a lot of leverage that can be applied to that. Some of these projects could be 1.5 million, could be 2 million, and so the profit would increase as well. But we're being very conservative here, very conservative. Like I said, I wanna under-promise and over-deliver. And so let's say, as an example, in year three and four, things stayed the same. We would make another 63.84 million, plus our Emirate number two, 28.32 million, which would bring our total to 92.16. I personally estimate, obviously, we're not gonna do the exact same amount of work the next three and four years, uh, we're gonna increase as much as possible what we can do by reinvesting into our entire operation and leveraging those relationships again. So this will exceed 100 million. This will exceed 100 million in net profits for us in year three and four. Now year five and six, we would expand to another emirate. We would continue to exceed the profit, continue to do more and more work. And then we would do more token buyback. So in year three and four from the money generated here, half would go to Habibi coin 
uh, we would do have to launch another Emirate, we would do have to do more token buybacks. The value of your tokens continues to go up and up and up and up because the supply is reduced by us buying and burning. And so this creates an amazing compounding model without interest that is completely kosher and halal and it meets all the faith and religious based guidelines that you would have for many different religions. And it also covers uh, through a business model generating cash flow year on year on year on year that continues to grow and is reinvested and continues to grow. So our community, our long term Habibi coin holders and community is able to work with us to grow a real investment for their children's future and their future and their family's future and our company continues to grow. My intention is to create a and our whole team's intention is to create a billion Durham company uh, and eventually a billion dollar company doing construction, a billion dollar collective construction investment trust, continuing to do more and more construction. So in year three, uh, year five and six, we would expand to another emirate, and then the year seven and eight, we would expand to another emirate, and probably within that time frame, we would also expand to another country, because as I mentioned, uh, UAE is number one when it comes to the construction in the, in the, in the GCC region. But there's multiple different countries here, and uh, they're very short flights. And once you have the system and process down, you build a great brand name for yourself in Dubai. Dubai is like a launch pad. And you build your great name and brand value here. You can easily launch to another country, and you can start to do bigger deals. At this point in year three and four, we'll start to get government projects. We'll start to get much bigger projects from other developers who want to subcontract to us. And we'll start to do a lot of our own developments that are larger developments where we can then own the land as well long term, build more assets. And so this is how the entire model works. We're happy to break it down to you. I hope you guys understood it. I hope I didn't confuse you. I wanted to educate you as much as possible so you understood exactly what we were doing, how we were doing it. <coughs> now the final thing is, um, at this point we're doing you know, 63.84 million, which uh, brings us to 384 projects that we're doing in two years, just in the first Emirate and this is in Dubai. Now how do we, um, source 384 projects? How can we ensure that we're sourcing 384 projects? And in earlier, uh, the earlier part of the series, we basically explained to you that we have 10 consultants that sit on our board. And the 10 consultants provide us with a minimum of 10 to 15 projects. Now, there are 665 consultants in Dubai. Um, currently, as it stands, we've had an agreement set up with nine of them. So we are gonna expand our consultants to around 30 consultants potentially 35, and if each one is giving us 10 to 15 projects, that's anywhere from 300 to 450 projects. Our target goal is 384, which is pretty much right in the middle. And so now we know through our sourcing process, our relationships with the consultants, they can provide us this deal flow. I'll give you an example. One of the consultants that we signed with, and he was the very first one, he does around 140, 150 projects a year. How hard is it for him to give us 15? Obviously not hard at all. And if we do a great job on those, uh, and we build a great relationship, and he gets his money out of those, we get our money out of those, the client is also happy, then that's obviously going to create an opportunity where he will want to give us maybe 20, maybe 30, 40 projects in year two and three, in year two, in year three and four, because now we can deliver. We have a reputation and some credibility and trust built with them, and they will continue to give us more and more projects, because you want to work with someone who gets the job done, they're reputable, they're respectable, and they're efficient as possible in making sure that the clients are happy, the consultant happy, and the contractor is happy. And so this will only increase and this will only increase and grow and grow. But through our sourcing process, remember nine agreements already, we have pretty much in hand a pipeline of projects that can meet our demand. And as we sign uh, over the next few months, the rest of the agreements, and we have 30 to 35 agreements, we'll be in a great position to be able to service all these projects and make sure we hit our target goal of 63.84 million and the token value continues to go up, the cash flow continues to grow. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys so much for sticking with us through this whole process. I know this is a, a little bit of a long series, but we wanted to make sure you understood everything and that you knew how our entire model worked and that you realized that our token is a construction back token as well as real estate investment, as well as mortgages. And we wanted to explain our, explain our bread and butter model to you. And the construction is our bread and butter. You know, creating a construction investment trust is our bread and butter. And this is something that has never been done through a lot of other companies, especially in the blockchain space, they generally crowdfund uh, projects together. And so this is a real game changer 
And through our experience, you know, one of our companies has our license from 2013. Uh, the other company has their license for two years. We've been building, we have great relationships with these consultants. Uh, we have certificates of completion. We've been doing this stuff in and out and we know it like the back of our hands. And so to scale it up like this and to have our community partake and for us to give back to our community from the actual laborers that work with us all the way up to our community members, all the way up to the consultants and our partnerships and things like that. This is one of the most amazing things that we've ever had the privilege to do. And so we are honored that you watched this video. Thank you very much and welcome to Habibi Coin.